Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike from Spectre Comics. Today I want to talk about how to get good quality line work when you're drawing with a pixel-based program like Adobe Photoshop. Now if you're drawing with a vector-based program like Adobe Illustrator, you'll get good smooth lines and you can scale them up or down and it'll retain that sharpness. However, you have less control over your lines and that's why I use Photoshop when I draw, but it is pixel-based and you can get some jagged edges on the pixel-based line work. But let's look at an example of a drawing I did a couple months ago where I drew the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you'll see that the line work looks good, and even when you zoom in, you still get good quality line work. And even if I zoom real far in, you can see the pixels. So if you wanna get good quality line work, it's important to set your drawing up at at least 300 dots per inch or pixels per inch when you're setting up the file for your drawing. Now in order to check an existing drawing to see what you're at, I actually just click down here on this document and it brings up this little box and it shows that I am drawing on a 36 by 24 inch piece of paper on my tablet here and it's showing my resolution at 300 pixels per inch or dots per inch. Uh, that is a good size for your drawing. Now anything smaller than that you're gonna get the pixels are gonna become bigger and you'll have more jagged edges and anything larger than that you'll start to get really large drawing files. So you want to keep it right around 300 because that's a good consistent resolution and it's good for anything you draw and on any size sheet of paper that you would be drawing on. So let's set up a new file and we'll talk about how to how I actually draw the lines and smooth them out to get some nice quality line work like the turtles here. So if I'm setting up a new drawing, I'm going to go to File, New, Blank File, and here I'm just going to keep the file untitled, but uh, my page here in this case is just going to be 11 by 8.5 by 11, a standard sheet of paper, but the resolution here I can set at 300 pixels per, per inch. So I'm just going to hit OK, and I've got a new file, and we're just going to fill that in. I'm going to fill the standard layer in with just some white paint going to create a new layer and that's where we're actually going to do a little sketching. I'm going to select the pencil tool and when I'm drawing with the pencil tool at 300 dots per inch when I start sketchy for and this is for final line work I'm not going to talk about the different layers. I did a video yesterday about uh, layer setup and I talked about a sketch layer so if I was drawing any drawing and I wanted to start with just sketching whatever I'm drawing first I'm gonna set up a sketch layer and then I'm gonna set a layer over that which would be my final line work layer the sketch layer is usually set at about 50 so that it's lighter and so let's draw my main character spark who you can see actually behind me here I just I'm covering him up so let's draw Spark's head and we'll kind of do an example. And when I start drawing, I'm going to start with a larger pixel and this is for the sketches. So I'm just going to quickly sketch Spark's head here. And that's just a quick sketch. I'm going to actually reduce the opacity so it's even lighter than that. Now if I'm going to go to my final line layer here, this is where I'm going to start sketchy. I'm going to start out sketchy here too. However, I'm going to start refining the lines to get some nice line work as I go. So we'll start out sketchy again. And now I have this guide as the underlay layer, the sketch layer. I'm going to actually reduce my pen size here. And right now I'm drawing at about eight pixels on this sheet. But I'm still starting out sketchy. And I'm going to start adding detail in. And I did a video recently about line weights. And that's this is where line weights come in too. Because I'm drawing in one single pixel size. I'm going to want to play with the line work to get thicker and thinner lines based on the line weights. And again, I'm drawing really quickly here. But you can get the idea that this is still very sketchy. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to start cleaning up these lines. I'm going to start adding some line weights. So I'm going to start thickening up some of the lines. I'm going to add some tapers here. So let's say the hair here. And I usually thicken areas up where it bulges. So like there's a bulge here. I'm going to thicken that up. And again, this is still very sketchy. And that's deliberate so I can kind of get whatever I'm drawing down. 
But then I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up and I'm gonna use the eraser tool to do this. I'm gonna start my eraser tool here at about, uh, let's try eight pixels, just because this drawing is a little thicker. An important thing to know is that when, depending on what size of the item your drawing is, you're gonna use thicker or thinner lines. So if something's in the foreground and it's large on your page, you're gonna use a thicker line weight for that. And if something's kind of in the background, you're gonna use a thinner line weight. So by playing with the various pixel sizes, and again, I'm erasing now to try to start to clean up these lines. And I'm gonna start getting some really nice line work. Things that come to points usually taper and get thinner but see how I just kind of shave away and I'm actually gonna turn off the sketch layer so we can just see the final line work. And by shaving away at these lines and cleaning them up, I'm starting to get some really good smooth lines. There's also a technique that I draw, and I've talked about this before in other videos, is that to get the most steady hand, again, because this is not vector based, when you're drawing with pixels, every little movement of your hand is gonna show up. And it, if your hand waves, you're not gonna get smooth lines. But in order to curb that, I will be able, I, I kind of always draw down towards myself. See how I'm cleaning up the lines? Tapering and getting some nice smooth curves. Now if I zoom in on this area, it still looks a little jagged. I can even go down to a smaller pen size or eraser pen size. And here's an important thing. Make sure when you're erasing, your brush is set on pencil, not brush. Because if you do brush, it's gonna start making your line edges fuzzy. And I don't like that, some people do. Some people draw with the brush and erase with the brush but I don't like that because it doesn't give me smooth lines. I get a, it, it basically gives me a gradient at the edge. So make sure your lines, when you're drawing or erasing, you're set to pencil. We can go kind of refill that in and get a much sharper line. I'm gonna erase and just shave the lines down as I draw. And you just slowly go around your drawing to clean up the line work. So every extraneous line, every little extra scribble on here just gets erased and shaved away. And that's what I was talking about. As you add the detail in, you're going to start cleaning up the line work. So you can still be sketchy on your final line layer because you're going to go in and clean it up. For stuff that's filled in with black, like the sunglasses here. I can actually just go ahead and select an area with the marquee tool and just fill that in. And I can sharpen my lines too. If I've got a straight area, I can go ahead and erase to get a nice smooth line. So now I've, get some, I've got some really tight line work here. And that is how I get some good quality line work. Going back to our turtle drawing, that's how I drew this whole drawing. I actually drew these turtles one at a time and put them all together into this composition. But if we zoom in, you know, you get some really good quality line work. You'll, you'll notice the tapers, you'll notice the thicker lines to get the line weights, and it really gives you a good variety. And you can go down, I've, I've, I've had some really small things on some of my comic panels. I've gone down to one pixel to get the detail in there. And when you're zoomed in, yeah, it looks very grainy and pixely, but when you zoom out or you print it on a page, it actually looks really smooth, it looks really good. And this composition for the turtles looks, looks really good. So that is how I get good quality line work when I'm drawing in Photoshop. Go ahead and leave any questions you have in the comment section below. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel for additional art content and drawing with Photoshop and Photoshop tips. That is it, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you.